Hey guys, it's Jenny on uh, Extreme Reluctance. Today I planned to knit the whole day and just like show my progress every hour. So I won't knit like the whole day because it's like 11.20 already today. But I will do a lot more than I've done in the past in a single day. So I always thought like knitting was like somehow fusing the thread together because like when you're little you don't understand how it works but like a year ago one of my first videos that I don't think I posted because I didn't finish was me like knitting for my online friend a blanket so I haven't really finished that it's right here this is how much I've done I only have it on one needle right now so like it's really scrunched up but that's like a year and a half of work that's how much you can tell I do it not a lot but I thought it would be like bigger I tried to find bigger thread so that it would be a really soft blanket but like this is the base one I found it's still pretty soft but it's not like overly soft like this one, like, arm knitting blanket I watched a long time ago. And then, I don't know which one I started first, that one or this one. It's also just on one thing. I don't think it's as big though. And it's got a different yarn. But I won't be doing either one of those. And I, I have them on one thing so I could take the needles out, so they're two different colors. We're gonna use this yarn that I got in like seventh grade, and then I don't know, it comes like in the long tube. And my friend told me that you're supposed to like take it out and put it into balls, right? Like a cat yarn ball. But it's really tangled, but you're supposed to do it in a way that it doesn't get tangled. <coughs> but it's really tangled. So, like, I have this. And I have this, and then I have all of this. And so like, I would do this whenever I was like deep cleaning my room and I would remember that I have these. And so I'd unwind it instead of cleaning. But now I'm gonna give up unwinding it and just cut it and start with this one. And start knitting with this and I definitely won't go as big I'll make it smaller and maybe I'll make something besides a blanket maybe I don't know definitely not a scarf because I definitely won't wear these colors so let me I also don't remember how to start knitting so I'll have to watch a video about that and then we'll get this started so I'll link the video that I used to learn how to knit and it tells you how to cast on so I've cast it on a little bit and then you just go you hold it like this and you go like this over and over again and I'm kind of a pro no <laughs> I know how to do this so fast because of like making friendship bracelets, you know? And I might make a video about that. Me making friendship bracelets for a day. Might be my next video. I can't remember if I've planned something else. I'm gonna move this down. Yeah. So. That's basically how I'll cast on, and then I'll follow the rest of the video, and I'll see you in an hour with my progress. It's 12.34, so I've done an hour of knitting. I did more than I thought I was going to do. Let's see. It's stretched out to be this big, 
But like when I casted it on, it was like that. So it was way less than I thought, but it's part of learning, I suppose. So now it's like almost too big to be on the needle. So this is how much I've done. It's about, well, it is exactly six rows if you count the first row, the cast on row. And I only made one big mistake so far, and that's, I don't even know if you can tell. Yeah, you can't really tell, but on this end, maybe you can tell because it's a bigger hole right there. I, when you do it like this, you put it in the knot, and then you whip it around, and then you take the knot off. But that's what you're supposed to do. But I wasn't, I got distracted, so I put it in the knot, looped it around, it didn't take it off, put it in the loop again, and wrapped it around, and then it messes it up for you, and then further along you mess up more, and... It'll probably be whack the whole rest of the time. But yeah. I might... I actually don't mind these colors. I thought the yellow would be too much. But it's still kind of pretty. It's been another hour. So... This is what I have done now. I kind of like it and I'm kind of excited. With how much I have done and so I'm excited to see uh, how much more I can get done today and so I'll probably do this some more often maybe I don't know the hour has passed and this is how much I've done um, I wanted to end in the middle so I could like stretch it out and show you, but I ended like right at the end. But yeah. This makes me like kind of excited to um, or like think I could actually finish my other projects in time for the birthdays of the people that I'm making them for. And maybe even do more projects and do it for other people. So I'm kind of moving fast. It has been three hours and this is all I have. But. <laughs> this is. Four hours of knitting now. Making me go. Um, yeah. Basically. I ate dinner. And then I talked to my Twitter friends, so it's been like an hour since I knitted. But I've looked at like patterns, because I told my Twitter friends I can make them something, and they're like, what can you make? And I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, what ideas? I'm like, I don't know. And so I find this video of beginner like p patterns, and now I'm like obsessed with doing those, and I don't want to do what I'm knitting anymore and c follow the pattern. So I think I'm going to abandon my knitting and maybe even undo the whole thing. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for all my new other obsessions with knitting and probably other things too that I've wanted to have for a while but I'm too lazy and YouTube motivates me. So thank you. Goodbye.